decluttering, I'm doubling, doubling down on this sentiment, but it really does give you mental clarity. It does. In your, it's not just in your space. Yeah. It's in your life. Hey everyone, we're back today with Gabby decluttering her tiny studio apartment. She has zero storage, so under her bed is where she stores her clothes, extra handbags, tchotchkes, mementos. We've only got 45 minutes today, so not a lot of time, but we set a timer, got to work decluttering and downsizing years worth of stuff. Let's get started. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I I'm very excited to be here with her. It's our third time hanging out in her apartment. Today we're on a time crunch. Yeah, we've got like an hour this afternoon. It takes time to declutter, so I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm this. so grateful and honored to have another opportunity to work with you. She's oh amazing. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. So we're gonna just do real time decluttering today. We're tackling underneath the bed and we're gonna see what we can get done in the next like 45 minutes to an hour. We'll start at the beginning. Let's see what, what we find. Oh God, tell me a little bit about how did so much even end up? Right, great, great, great question. Couple of reasons, couple of key reasons. I don't have a real closet. The second main reason was because I subletted my apartment last summer and I moved to New York City and I wanted an open and clear space for the girls, room for their personal stuff. things. Yeah. And then I just kind of liked that I didn't have my stuff in there anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we're gonna get through. I'm gonna go, whoa! Yeah. Let me see. Do you think we should pull everything? No, let's start with like what we have. Yeah, let's start here. I think I can part with this. It's, oh, okay, so that's a good buy. It's, it's a really great bed, but I have. I just don't. I have so many dog beds too. Like I'm always. She doesn't really use this one. I don't Say goodbye know. to your dog I, bed, it's Mimi. So cute. Okay, so I got this on Buy Nothing, like last week. It's a, like a little footbed. I know. Isn't it adorable? That's so cute. Yeah. She's like vintage. Yeah. She lived right there. Oh, I'm kind of bummed about that. But what? I mean. Yeah. I did she not use it? Has it just been under your bed? I don't like the aesthetic of it, even though it's very pretty. Like, it's gotta go then. Yeah, it's gotta go. Okay, we're gonna start with one, two, three bins. It looks like it's a hodgepodge. There's some paper, journal, clothes, shoes, more clothes, maybe some handbags. Let's see what we can do. So I'm already ready to like get rid of these. These are very expensive shoes, but. They're... Do you wanna do a donate bag? You wanna just like this do is, donate? Yeah, this okay. is a donate Perfect. bag. This is also like a shoe I had when I really hurt my toe. Like we'll get rid of that. These are so cute, but they like broke. I guess I could take them to the, cause I do want them. Yeah, those are really cute. They're basically brand new, but they, yeah, they broke. How adorable are these? Um, I have my sheets, I have sheets by her and people always comment on them. They're the pink floral sheets that I have. They're Betsy Johnson. Ooh, I've worn the shit out of these. You shoes. have. I used to walk from Hollywood to the end of West Hollywood almost every day. For, because I didn't have a car during that stretch of time in these shoes for oh work. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is a big, these represent. That's a memory there, like years of like, pound, yeah. literally pounding the pavement. Yeah, like that period of, yeah. You know? That period of time was like insufferable. Oh my gosh. I guess, should I take a picture of these? If you want, it's like a moment. Are you thank it and say goodbye? Thank you for everything you taught me. Really I went something. through so much in these shoes. I mean, I could resole them. Oh, I think I think you can say goodbye to them. Okay, for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're like you're okay, honey. Yeah, new new ones coming in. Okay. New things. All right. We're making space for new things. Oh my god, this is. I've been looking for this. These are cute. I think I those can. Cute. I can keep these. Okay, so these are cute. This is nasty. Definitely, these are cute. So this is like more of like another, this is a, another costume thing, but okay, I'm ready. So this is cute. So okay. this is a beautiful top. Do you want this? This is basically brand new. Do you think it's gonna be too tight though? Or how, what do you think? If you like, feel, yeah. This part, if you're, you if, you're, sure? if you're feeling that, that it's too tight. Then. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, then don't do it. Okay. I have a bad habit of getting clothes that are a little too small for me. Shopping for them like that. Right. I could try to sell that, but. Think about what's easiest for you. I know. 
It's not going to be easy. It's no. going to be annoying. It is going to be so I'm annoying. Trying, now I'm like concerned. Unless you're in a crossroads, but crossroads is so they suck. picky. They suck. They don't pick anything. This is like a hippie top that I was saving for commercials, but I don't want it. This is another thing. See, this is brand new. No, I can get rid of this. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, okay, so okay. this is something my cousin gave to me. It's like a super witchy, like maxi dress. I guess I could hang on to this. Um, and this is an amazing red leather jacket. This was my mom's. Cool. Definitely save that. Yeah. This was originally an auditioning top, but it's like cropped and I never wear it. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. These are my journals I decided I'm definitely keeping. It's a weird, I don't like this. This is a black blazer. This was my mom's. I was trying to hang on to it. I'm very picky about black items that I keep. Excuse me. Say goodbye to this. What size is that? Let me see. Small. XL. Let me see. I never look good in blazers though. No, you look cute. So, yeah. Ugh. Some like sad feelings coming up right now, but memories are just like just, just feeling sad at all. The world traveler. Oh my god, there's something inside. Ooh. Oh my god, they're like linen? Kitchen linens. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's something else oh. in here. What is oh, that? It's like a llama. Oh, that's it's a llama. I'm gonna use it. So it's supposed to go like this. It's a backpack. I think I'll keep it. Oh, that's cool. Like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's adjustable too. Maybe it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sure we can find somewhere to store it too. If you do, I just want to find a way to clean this out. So this is a beautiful jacket, Rag and bone. Yeah. I think it's practical to keep. Here, I'll hang it for you. It's like a thrift find. No, that's a Nordstrom rack. Oh, oh, a Nordstrom rack find. Yeah. Oh, um, Rag bone is but nice. It's yeah. It, but it was expensive. No, they're very expensive. Yeah. I'm getting rid of these overalls. If you, those of you who don't like the velvet hangers, they also just have like slim plastic style hangers and the clothes kind of Keep easily like go on or off. Um, okay. Yeah, this is just like a blouse. I could probably keep this. Some stains on it. It's just, this was also my mom's. Um, on the fence. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, this is just like old energy. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really vibing with this anymore. Oh yeah, definitely I can ditch this. Okay. What makes you easy for you when you're like, uh, I don't feel the vibe of this or I want to ditch this. What makes your... For that specifically, that was all, that matches the time period with those leopard print shoes. Oh, okay. Where just my life was just so hard. Yeah, so you're like, it oh, this just, reminds me of that. I was so bitter. Yeah, I want, I want that it. energy. Yeah. Okay, so this is like also like a mom-ish auditioning piece, but it's neutral. I don't know. I guess I could keep this. Excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Taking excellent care of my health and freeing up my time are two of my top priorities and Factor helps me do both. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. They have so many options to fit your needs, whether that's from their vegan and veggie menu, calorie smart, chef's choice, or my personal favorite, keto. First thing in the morning, I love taking one of their wellness shots. I recommend trying the apple, ginger, lemon, cayenne. It is the perfect combo of vitamins and antioxidants. No more boring lunches or wasted money ordering takeout. Factor meals are perfect for a busy lifestyle. There is no prep and that means there is no mess to clean up. Everything comes pre-prepared for you. You just pop them in the microwave for two minutes and your meal is served. I am all about simplifying my life and Factor is the ultimate time-saving hack because I don't have to grocery shop, chop, cook, do a bunch of dishes and clean up afterwards. It takes so much off my plate and makes my life infinitely easier. Make hitting your health goals automatic. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code thecarlaproject50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next box. That's code thecarlaproject50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Thanks Factor, back to today's video. Oh my God, Gabby, I saw your show the other day. Platonic? Yes. Oh. She's on Platonic, you guys. Apple TV. Yeah. Last episode, episode 10. Season finale, baby. Oh my gosh. Um, that's so cool. I know her. I love that. Um, so this is like quality. It's something my mom gave me. 
I am there's like a push pull happening like the color is really good mm -hmm. it works well with my skin tone and hair mm -hmm. could be potentially good for an audition I love it personally. I think I should keep it yeah I think it's great okay so this is a vintage find I got this at like some flea market but it's like falling apart <laughs> look at the inside though yeah it's, it's kind of I think goodbye to that. Yeah, I think so too. I'm surprised right now. Another pair of overalls. I'm not going to wear these. Okay, this used to be such an amazing sweater. It's still amazing, but my cousin accidentally, this was a boyfriend sweater and it shrunk like three times. It was oh, amazing. no. It still fits though, right? Yeah, it, it still too fits. Small? It's just it's like, it's not the style that it was supposed to be. It's not what it was. <laughs> It's just like upsetting. I don't know. Okay. I have a lot of good memories with this, so okay. I'm going to just put it there for right now. I've had this for years and years and years, but I don't really, I guess I could wear it for like the, um, I guess I could put, this could work for auditions for like certain things. I think maybe I should keep this piece. It's another one of these purses from my dad's girlfriend. It's like really incredible piece. Like, oh my gosh. Girlfriend. That's amazing. Yeah. So I want to keep it, but like... You won't use it all the time? Like you want it more stored out of sight? I think stored out of sight, yeah. It's hard okay. for me to... I don't want to let go of the, this piece of my life. You put it with your other bags? Yeah, that's okay. like clutches and purses okay. underneath okay. there. Definitely want to keep this handbag. I've had this forever. By the way, since we've been decluttering, I started using this Betsy Johnson bag that's right here. I've had this since I was like 21. These overalls, I initially like loved them so much, but I do, I had some really hard times in these as well. Is this like when you first came out to LA? No, I just had like, I was in a really bad relationship. Oh, it reminds you of that. It does. And then also like this little piece broke, but they're, they, I think I should probably just keep these. They're actually really cute. They're really cute. I'll keep these. These are really pretty skirts. This is from some Italian boutique in New Mexico. I think I'm going to hang on to these skirts. I'm definitely not ready to let, let them go. Okay, I'm going to start storing something here, and you finish that then. Yeah. I got this at Crossroads. Oh, look at the little pin I put on it. It's cute. Um, yeah. I would have to try this on. It's a very cute, like, jacket, but I, I can't, like, button it up, though. It's too small to button? Yeah. That's okay. I mean, I don't think it's like that. I guess we can consolidate. This is a yeah, main coat that's very cute. Photo shoots and such. Okay. Also vintage find. Looks very cute on. Great color. Needs to be dry clean. This I've had for a really long time. I just wear it for special like occasions. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. Maybe I could stick this in that other box. This one? I can line it with a paper towel too. Okay. Ooh, that's that's going to be that's good. That's a really good idea. Okay. Where's your paper towels? Um, let me help you. This is another thing my mom gave me, but I'm like really, <sighs> I'm not ready to like part with it. Yeah. So. You want to just store it? Yeah. Store this. Ooh, there's something in this. Are you the middle child? Yes. What are I we thinking this. about using this for your, your extra journals? Yeah. Okay. I love this, but it's too small and, oh, it's hard to let this go. Too small though? It is too small. Okay. Um, this is kind of making me feel sad. Oh, okay. Wait, you mean saying goodbye to it? I mean, I don't know. I just like it. it yeah, like, okay. you just, I look at it. I look at all these things actually, and it brings up a lot of sadness. So those pieces of clothing you just like really cool. Like, mm. my mom passed away. Yeah. When I was wearing a lot of those things. Oh. So it's just like, do I want them to also my mom bought this for me? She bought this for me. It's hard to decide what to keep and what to let go of after you've lost a parent and you've inherited items that were theirs or you have things that they bought for you. I'm usually ruthless when it comes to decluttering, but for these kinds of situations, I think it's better to err on the side of caution and then check in with the items again in a year. Is that workout stuff? It's like workout. That, do you want to use that? Like, do you want to use it or do you want to? I need to use it. I would love all new workout stuff. I know. Um, Look at that though, one bag. That's crazy. Going out. That's already. crazy. So that's good. That's really good. Okay, hand me those journals. I'm going to store them here. Okay. You tell me how would you like, do you want your shoes out? Where are all your shoes actually? Yeah, that's so, it's funny. I have a weird situation going on here. I have shoes in here. Oh. And then I have shoes over there. That's all your shoes? 
And then we yeah. got rid of a couple of pairs, but I don't know. I mean, I have been, yeah, I've been gutting stuff. It's, it's tough. I just don't. Like, even if I had a shoe tree, it would be so awkwardly placed. You I know, know what I mean? Like, My sister was like, why don't you get one of those hanging shoe wardrobes and yeah. put it on the back of your door? And I was like, that's cluttery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I want know. that. I know. So. Both of those? Okay. What about this one? Yeah, that's a good question. Let These me, could um, be with your running shoes, I guess, if you're going to. Yeah, I'll just slip those inside a pair of shoes now. Okay. So that way they're not taking up any more space. These shoes were also my mom's. Okay. Um, Thank you. I'll That's definitely take up on that. I'll just these. put. I'll put store. Yeah, I'll store these. Where do you want to store? Where do you want to store your shoes? I'm just gonna have to put them in here. Yeah. Okay. What about these? They, they Those two. In there. Okay. Thankfully, we had we had done so much work already that we have like some sort of system going. Yeah, I mean, and you have been downsizing. Gosh. Okay, I mean, so this is good. This okay, so we have one empty one. I can't believe we can it. Marry those. Oh, you good, know, good idea. At good, least for now, because I don't know what you'll want to use for in the future. Let's good let's go thinking. through one more. Is okay. this one? I guess. Yeah. So this is probably going to be a lot of keep stuff. Well, no, maybe not. Computer part. This was like a white elephant gift, and I. Do you have an iPad? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just, I've had this for so many moons, and like, I don't use it. I don't plan on getting one, so I guess I'll just give yes, it away. Yes, give it away. Ad libs, word games. I'm not going to use this. Okay, donate. Yeah, I can throw this stuff away. We just found this Stephen Covey time management chart that one of my first acting teachers gave to me back in 2007. I'm going to print one for both me and Carla. Because we both we were just talking time. about how overwhelmed we are. And yes. one of my micro goals for this year is to not rush when I am doing paperwork mm. or returning emails. It is very, very hard for me. Like, for example, when I was filling out, out that app, I was like, I was rushing because he was like, it's the last day. So right, like, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, this is exactly what I don't want. And then I realized that I only made one mistake. But like, this is basically saying stay in preparation, prevention, Ooh. values clarification. Yes, I love this. I don't know what this is. I, I don't think it goes to anything. So I feel like I could just throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, tangled cords. Um, Where's the insert to this? Did you end up putting it somewhere? The the, the photos. Oh, Did we just shit. have it? Oh, it's right here. I don't know how I must have, that was, yeah, okay. Oops. Here, that, you know, too. Okay. Put it. Um, this is all pictures. I definitely want to save all of this. Okay, let's put that with these. Can throw this away. So, trash. Yeah. Yeah, trash. 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 You know what? I don't use these. It goes to the bottom of my bed. So should I just toss this? Yes, you don't need it. Okay. Yeah. I like... Because that's the wrong size I know, bed frame. Okay, I know. Yeah. So this actually, I think it goes inside of this. It's okay, a little it works. crystal lamp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And my friend, my psychic, who he was my psychic for like twenty years, he passed away and he gave this to me. So like oh. reminds me of him. I used to have that, but you did. Mm -hmm. I can throw this away. These I'm gonna keep trash. Definitely keep the hair ties. Do you want all these little books? Um, it's hard. I mean, that's a great book. The Little Book of Love. I think that was a gift. Um, Donate. Yeah, it's like I'm not really vibing with it. <laughs> and the Crystal Bible, do I need this? I mean, I decluttered mine. You did? I did. You decluttered your Crystal yeah. Bible? Yeah, someone else decluttered it and I got it from them, but then I ended up decluttering it. Now this one's empty too. I can't believe it. Okay, you want to keep it though, right? You probably do. Because I'm going to move at some yeah. point, so I can't believe phone. this right now. This is shocking. Well, I mean, I don't know if it'll fit under the bed in this state, so. It probably will. You think so? Okay. I do think it probably will. Okay. Ooh, that was so fast. You got, we have like, okay, and we two, have this. We have two bags. A donate bag. Oh, God. Can't believe it. A donate bag. We did that pretty quickly. We've got, yeah, grab that. We've got one donate bag here. This we're donating to. Also, oh. goodbye. A bag of trash. I think it's been 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the most. Yeah. It's not your entire underbed, but it's a good chunk. Definitely. There's like probably just a little bit more we can do next time, but the second half. This feels like the perfect amount of time because I know you're yeah, it was you're good. running on empty. Yeah, no, I know. I'm glad we did it though. Me we're too. Almost, we're almost canceled today because it was I'm like such a small window, but I was like, you know what? Let's meet and just do even an hour. Yeah. Even an hour of decluttering is better than none. 
It really is. And you've been decluttering on your own. It's getting lighter and lighter in here. Before you came over, I actually threw away a catch-all. You did? Because it, it's chipped. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I don't want this. Yeah. Ever since Carla's been coming over, it's been a lot easier for me to let go of things that aren't giving me joy, don't make me feel good, bring back bad memories. We all have them. And yeah, like I... I feel like decluttering, I'm doubling, doubling down on this sentiment, but it really does give you mental clarity. It does. In your, it's not just in your space. Yeah. It's in your life. Yeah. And, and in your own mind, like you feel the spaciousness. Yeah. Yeah. I am so grateful. I am so happy and like very proud of you for decluttering even when I'm not here. You're still doing it. You're turning over this whole new yeah. leap of slowly moving things out. And it's not easy living in a studio apartment. It's We're manifesting a new apartment for Gabby. <laughs> some ma magic um, vibes over here. No, I, I'm gonna make my, you're inspiring me to make my list because I'll tell you, Yes. I did make a list last year, but I intuitively remember getting pings that were like, no, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no. And it was because I was meant to sublet my apartment, have yes. that experience. Yeah. And I went to New York. I think they were shoe boxes. Oh, oh yeah. look at this. Let's just so that, out these. Yeah, those also my mom bought for me, but like sadly they're falling apart. If you look at the top, if you look at this. Oh, it's splitting. Yeah. And like oh yeah. I mean art oh whoa. That's completely Okay, these are done. Yeah, those are you wanna trash them? I mean, I guess. They're pretty unwearable. Okay, I'm gonna, this this is trash, so we're just gonna double it up. Okay. So that's one more thing you get out. Where's the I lid think for I this? can give these away too. All right, do it. Donate that. I don't know where the other shoe is though. I know that's the only. This thing is so old. Breaking, but I want to help get it down. Okay. Right now. Uh, okay, and then where's the lid for this one? I don't remember. Oh, maybe did it not? Really, I don't want this. This, I don't need two of these. These are like these spiritual, like, I don't really like the color scheme of this. Okay. You don't want this, do you? No. Okay. I don't want this either. Put it in here. It's very well. That would be hilarious. Oh my god, there's so much shit I don't want. Oh, good. Um, do it, do it, do it. Hold on, I'm gonna cross over. Okay. I don't want this. I don't want this. I was hanging on to this because my aunt made me feel really guilty. She was like, this is a good jacket. I think I've had this for like, I mean, maybe it, maybe I should keep it. Actually, maybe I should. Okay. Just in case. I, I have a really strong feeling that I'm going to travel to cold weather for acting. What does that mean to you? For me. Okay. Like, I guess, I don't know. This is an amazing, this is thrifted. That's I'm cool. I'm definitely keeping this. Yeah. Florence. Okay. So wait, I guess I'm keeping the rest of this stuff. This is a gorgeous Goodbye. bed skirt. What size bed? Do you I'm have queen. queen. It's West Elm. It doesn't fit. You don't have to have it. I can keep it. It's so, I was so upset when I bought it. I was like. Yeah, because I'm so simple with my bedding. I okay. just will make it hard for me to even make my bed. Got it. No worries. Um, I love the idea of a bed skirt. I actually think I'm going to get rid of all of, I just want new energy. I can get rid of all of this. What is this? Is this a bag though? What is this? Is it oh, a pillowcase? Like West Elm. Like, so much of this is oh, West Oh, like a square Elm. pillowcase. Um, shit, now I'm kind of, like, not... I think I'm definitely going to get rid of these things. These are maybes. You're not really sure. Yeah. Okay, leave really it for sure. now. This, I don't want, for sure. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we're getting rid of the definite no's. Okay, okay those just I'm hold just... for a while. And this will all go down right now. On the graves in the cracks of a thousand leaves, somewhere in between our past and our future rolling over, all the dividing things. Are you still listening? Want to be heard by you? Oh, I see. Sea, where the cold and hard me. I know we the powers that be. A lot of those things, though, too, I got to 
Yeah. 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 Call me back to me.